Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and once again we thank you for all your questions and I have a lot of them today and next week is the 4th of July, one of my favorite times of the year. I remember when my mom used to make the jello with the whipping cream and marshmallows. Oh boy, that was nasty stuff. But let's talk about all the questions that we have talking about right now. Somebody asked about cystic breast disease and what I have found from my experience lack of iodine. Iodine is really, really important for women's breast, their ovaries, and of course their thyroid tissue. How much iodine should you take? About 12 milligrams a day. Now listen to this about iodine. When I was in Japan, the Japanese women consume about 12 milligrams of iodine per day in the form of sea vegetables and seafood. If you start taking iodine and 12 milligrams immediately, and you've been exposed to bromine, fluorine, or chlorine, you have a greater chance to have some not nice body reactions like maybe a metal taste in your mouth or a rash or flu-like symptoms. So up to 12 milligrams a day, maybe start with 3 milligrams a day for a week or two, then go to 6 milligrams a week or two. Also a TSH, a T3, and a T4 blood test for the thyroid would help. If your T4 is less then the midline, you definitely need iodine. And we also use a urine iodine loading test. You can go to our website for that, it'll give you some more information. Dr. Bob, I just read your book on ADHD. I'm an elementary teacher. I can see my son has challenges with ADHD. And we want to use cod liver oil. I use a marine oil in our practice. We use an anchovy and a sardine based oil and flax oil. But I did a little research just to make sure I could give you the appropriate answer cod liver oil will be okay. I am not sure how easy participation you have with your family with that. You might want to get a lemon flavored marine oil. That would be definitely a smart choice to do any kind of oil change. I have a question. I get hungry for the munchies. I watch all day but at nighttime my diet gets sabotaged and I'm hungry for sweets and carbs and chips. Okay so what do you do? I would get rid of all those carbs and chips out of the house. Get rid of them. During the day, you want to make sure you're eating protein, maybe an avocado um, at noontime, and then maybe some celery with almond butter. That helps keep your blood sugar stable. Your issue is blood sugar is going up, and then the blood sugar is going down. So to eliminate the munchies, get rid of all the junk in your house. Just get rid of it, totally. Focus on vegetables, maybe some baby tomatoes, or the grape-sized tomatoes, or cherry tomatoes, celery with almond butter, like I just mentioned vegetables, some snap peas, red, yellow, orange, bell pepper. Dr. Bob, how does Dr. Bob's Helpful Things help women who have breast cancer and can't take hormone replacement therapy? Well, one of the things that we really promote is optimal adrenal gland function, pantothenic acid, red, yellow, orange, bell peppers. Pantothenic acid is B5. It helps adrenal gland function. You might want to try that. Also, adrenal support. We use a bovine or you could use a lamb-based um, adrenal support. The adrenal glands make progesterone and they make estrogen. And if you still have your ovaries, iodine will help that. Dr. Bob, I'm a young woman with large fibroids. They've been following your instruction concerning detoxing my liver, etc. Give me some guidance to get rid of these fibroids. But what I have found is that most women because of the massive amount of estrogen in our society today, in our environment, who have fibroids, there's so much estrogen out there, you have to work really, really diligently to keep that liver going. So you made a really good point. Milk thistle, maybe three or four every day. The castor oil pack, two or three times per week. We talk about it in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. Dandelion root would be also very helpful. You want to support the liver. B vitamins would help also. B vitamins help process estrogen. Your goal is to get your estrogen down. A urine estrogen test would be very helpful. they will tell you the amount of the 2 estrogen or the 16. You want more number 2 estrogen. Broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower will help that tremendously. Dr. Bob, I love your website. I'm a 50 year old woman. I have a goiter the size of a golf ball. I really watch what I do. But I have this goiter that increases in size. Here's what I would suggest that you do, because there's a lot of questions in that question. Have your TSH, T3, T4 tested. 
NTPO, that's for autoimmune problem or Hashimoto's. Eliminate gluten. Gluten is a very common cause for massive goiter challenges. I know you mentioned that your husband watched me on TV and I mentioned that bananas can cause thyroid problems. They don't cause thyroid problems. Bananas can cause left neck and mid back pain. Soy products can impair the thyroid function. If you're going to eat broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower, I would saute it or cook it because you want to make sure that your body um, can handle the broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower which tend to impair thyroid function. So let me wrap this up for you. For your thyroid, have your TSH, T3, and T4 tested. You are taking some iodine. You may want to consider having a urine iodine loading test done. That will tell me the amount of iodine that's in your body and what you need exactly. You guys have been really, really great. Next week we're going to talk about exercise tips for the summertime. For all of you in the United States, have a great 4th of July. Bye.